end, I thought they canceled your mission. They did, but you know, NASA really wants my telescope up on the space station, so they're putting me on an earlier launch. When? A uh, week from Friday. Mike, we're getting married that Sunday. You're right. <laughs> I can't go to space. I have to get married. No one can say that's not a good reason. I'll call him back. <laughs> I don't want to be the one who stands in your way. Well, too bad. You already did. It's a done deal. Oh, well, but I forgive you. <laughs> no, that's not how I want to start our marriage. Killing your dream? We'll have the wedding when you get back. No, but what about all the plans and the guests? I'll we'll call them. Although my dad's going to go a little nuts over losing his deposits. You're right. He <laughs> is. <laughs> Your dad's gonna be furious. There's no way he's gonna let us postpone this wedding while well, we tried. I'll talk to him. He won't say no to his little girl. No, I I should talk to him. Man to man. But Howie, my dad could be a bully. He's gonna make you cancel your space flight. We can only hope that he doesn't. Bishop to Queen Four, level two. Check. Sheldon. Knight takes bishop. You all right? I'm fine. <laughs> Are you? You left your queen exposed from above, you trapped your knight in the corner, and you keep sighing and saying, why me? <laughs> Very well. Can I ask you a question about women? I got you that book last year. Wasn't everything in there? <laughs> No, I'm having a relationship problem with Amy. And by the way, that book gave me nightmares. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I screwed things up pretty good with Penny. Look at us, Leonard. Engaging in the social convention of men bellyaching about their old ladies. I guess we are. So, what's going on? Believe it or not, Amy has embarked on a campaign to increase my feelings for her by making me happy. I'm sorry, that must be very difficult for you. It's awful. This morning, she arranged for me to be an Amtrak junior conductor for the day. It's usually only open to children. She got them to make an exception. Shame on her. They let me blow the whistle, Leonard. She's good. I know. And it gets worse. Her efforts are causing me to have affectionate feelings for her at inappropriate times. You mean like in bed or in the shower? No. Would you please stop referencing that infernal book? <laughs> for example, this morning, I was calculating the random motion of virtual particles in a vacuum when suddenly the particles morphed into an image of Amy's dandruff. <laughs> Gently cascading down onto her pale, slightly hunched shoulders. <laughs> oh, what has that vixen done to me, Leonard? <laughs> How do I make it stop? Well, if you had a physical relationship, I'd say propose during sex. Turns out that's a real mood killer. I assume we're talking about you now? Yeah. So that's how this works? I complain, and then you complain, and no one offers any solutions? Pretty much. Well, no wonder the women are winning. 